Hello friends, I'm Parways and this is our ninth video in Qt5 C++ GUI application development. In the previous video, we have learned how you can create combo box in Qt5. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create uh, radio buttons in Qt5 C++ framework. Okay, now let's get started. First, I'm going to create a new file or project, uh, Qt widget application. And also, I'm going to give a name this. Uh, radio button uh, click on next next I'm going to choose a uh, queue dialog next and finish okay now our project is created uh, this is our header files this is our uh, uh, dialog.cpp uh, main.cpp and also we have our uh, user interface file okay now let me uh, bring open this and now in here I'm going to add uh, three radio buttons uh, one two and this is three radio button also I need a label okay I need a line edit I'm going to add a line edit and also I need a, you can see that now I have this is my window and I need a push button like this okay now I'm going to choose these three and I want this should be layout vertically and also this should be horizontally and for this we need a horizontal layout and now I'm going to change the push button to uh, click me and also I'm going to change this to for example apple uh, banana also the last one for uh, melon okay now uh, this is our simple application we have uh, uh, three radio buttons also you can see that these are uh, my name for radio button radio button this is radio button uh, this is ready button 2 and this is ready button 3 yeah uh, you can see now we have uh, three uh, radio button with a line edit and also click me button and also for the line edit I have a line edit and for the button I have push button now I'm going to create uh, click on this and go to slot and choose collect okay now in here, I, in here I'm going to create a if condition. Okay, first, uh, if you want that one of these should be checkable by default, for example, I want that the, this apple should be checkable by default. For, uh, simply, you can open your dialog.cpp and in the cons constructor you can UI uh, the name of ready button is checked. Make it to As checked make it to true okay uh, now let me run this sorry it's not I think it is is checkable make it to true okay let me run this first and Checkable functions, I think it is, is checked, it is as checked, make it true. Function does not take an argument. Uh, okay, let me make it. Uh, okay, it is not as checked. It is uh, set checked. Set checked, and make it true. Okay. Now let me run this. now it will build 
Yeah, now you can see the apple is uh, checked. Now in my uh, on push button clicked, and here I'm going to create a if if uh, if UI uh, radio button if it is if radio button one is checked if it is checked I'm going to set the the radio button uh, text. Uh, to my line edit UI line edit set text UI radio button dot text okay I'm getting the text from the radio button and I am uh, setting this text to my line edit okay now for the Else, if UI radio button two, if radio button two is checked, I'm going to UI line edit set text to UI radio button two dot text. Okay. Now for the third radio button, LF. UI radio button true if it is checked I'm going to set the text of my third line edit to my third radio button to my line edit of UI radio button tree and the text okay uh, now this is the code uh, let me bring this in here yeah, this is the code and let me run this and I am waiting that my application belt is complete yeah now it's completed uh, for example I am going to choose the banana and I, I'm going to click me you can see now it's banana. If you choose melon, click me. You can see it's melon. And if you choose apple, if you click me, this is apple. Uh, thank you guys. If you have any question, please let me know. And for the further videos, please subscribe to my channel.